Hey there, how's it going? Thanks for watching this video in which I'm going to explain to you how you can land a guaranteed 14 gigs of free storage, and in the best case scenario, 48 gigs. If this video helped you out in any way, remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe. Now, to achieve this, we will be working with three different services, all which work with desktop folders, which is an awesome feature which basically means that you can access and upload files through your computer folders. There's no need to open up your internet browser and upload files individually. It's as simple as dragging and dropping. Okay, so the only con here is that your data will be split up among three different services, but if you have it set up the way I do, it really shouldn't bother too much. The only actual downside is if you wanted to access it all in one spot on your mobile device or on a separate computer, but given that this is totally free, I'm in no position to whine. Now all of these services do have uh, applications for mobile devices, and they all work on Windows and Mac, so it's pretty cool. After I explain what each service offers and how to maximize your free space, I'll quickly show you how I have these services set up on my computer. So this may turn into a long video, just so you know. Now, like I said, we will be using three different services, the first being Dropbox, second being the Microsoft SkyDrive, and the, the last one being the just released Google Drive. Now, for new users, right off the bat, Dropbox gives you two gigabytes of free storage. It's pretty awesome. So, boom, just like that. You just signed up and you have two gigs of free storage and you're good to rock. Now, if you sign up with SkyDrive, you get seven gigs of free storage. Then, the just released Google Drive, if you sign up with them, they give you five gigs of free storage. So, if you use all these services combined, you can have a total of 14 gigs. Guaranteed storage right there. It's just like, dude, easy. But, you can earn and opt in for more free storage in certain conditions. Dropbox users can invite their friends to use the service by using a referral link. Just go over to get free space and you have a referral link. Every time a friend of yours signs up, you earn an additional 500 megabytes, which is half a gig for those who don't know. Dropbox allows free users to earn up to 16 gigs total by referring, making your total storage 18 gigabytes. But to achieve this, you have to get 32 of your friends on the service. Now, SkyDrive. Right now, if you've been a SkyDrive user for some time, you can opt in for a total of 25 gigabytes of free storage. Now again, this is only if you've had an account for some time. Who knows, maybe you forgot you had an account. Log on to live.skydrive.com, go over to Manage Storage, and right here you'll be able to select 25 gigs of free storage free. Now, if you do have a SkyDrive account, make sure you opt in soon. If you don't do it soon, you'll be locked down to the new user free limit, which is 7 gigs. Alright, so I threw a bunch of numbers at you, and I don't expect you to remember them, so let's sum everything up. If you are new to all of these services and you're going to sign up today, you are guaranteed 14 gigs of storage, which is pretty awesome, with the option to add 16 more given that you spread the word to 32 of your friends to sign up with Dropbox. Best case scenario, if you did get 32 friends to sign up, you can have a total of 30 gigabytes totally free. Now, the absolute best case scenario is that you've signed up with SkyDrive already, and you're able to opt into the 25 free plan. This will add 18 more gigabytes to the standard 7 that new users get. The absolute best case scenario, you'll land a comfy 48 gigabytes of storage space. Okay, so you're new to all these services, and let's say you've never used any of them before, and you're kind of confused. You're like, alright, Jerry, you said that I was able to access all my files on my desktop and just drag and drop to upload, and what's going on? It's true, you really can. And uh, to do this, you'll just have to install the packages that each of these services offer. And they actually allow you to access your stuff through folders. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. The folders are actually located in your documents. I'm not sure where it is on your Mac, but I mean, if once you install it, it'll give you instructions on how to do it on the Mac, so don't worry about that. For Windows users, you're going to go to My Computer, and then you're going to go to Local Disk C, go down to Users, and I'm going to go into Jerry because that's my profile, that's where I installed it. And right there, I have my Dropbox folder, I have my Google Drive folder, and I should also have my SkyDrive folder. And there they are, they're right there on my desktop. And what I actually did is I went ahead and made shortcuts to them, and I added them to my taskbar. Now adding them to your taskbar is kind of, it's not as easy as you may think, it's not just drag and drop. I actually have a tutorial on how to add folders to your taskbar. Make sure you click that video if you want the same setup I have. Okay, so what's this whole deal with the folders? I don't get it. Well, check it out. I have my Dropbox. These are all my folders and all my files, right? Let's say I go into my Comp Help video tools. Okay, these are the tools I use every time I edit a video. I'm going to click it, and there we go. I have my audio, graphics, and video. 
let's say I go over to the video section. Boom, I have outro. So I have all these subcategories. I'm, I like to be organized like that. All right, so as you start there, I just went over through all my stuff. All right, that's kind of not the coolest thing ever, Jerry. I mean, this web layout, eh, it's, it's not very practical. How do I go about doing this? Well, check it out. Down here, I have my uh, Dropbox folder. I click it, and boom, just as you saw, hold on, let me drag this off really quick. And just like that, right on the root of my Dropbox, uh, right there on the root of my Dropbox, you can see the same folders are in my Dropbox folder on my desktop, or on my computer really. Sige, Sige, images, images, public, public, shared, shared, everything. As you saw, I went to Compel Video Tools, I just go into that, there's audio graphics, I went to video, outro, and there we go, my outro video is right there really simple and let's say I wanted to upload something to my Dropbox okay let's go back to the Dropbox folder and I'm just gonna drag a random a random image onto uh, into here all right so I have an image right here um, very easy all the services work like this by the way all of them have their own folder and all of them and you know, everything's working the same everything just works the same right so I'm just gonna drag this picture into the folder you start there it's syncing it's like a little sync Thing right there that means it's uploading in the background uh, basically you can tell over here I have them all set up right here so I can see what's uploading what's syncing and stuff all right my internet really sucks like big time so uh, it's probably taking a while to sync there we go Abby my dog's name is Abby um, it's just a picture all right it's just on my hard drive everything's fine in this folder it has a check mark which means it's all synced up now if I go to my dropbox.com uh, root and I reload the page you will see my dog's picture right here Abby that wasn't there before but just like that I just dragged it into a folder and it uploaded as long as you have internet access everything syncs up and now if I go to the Dropbox application on my iPhone that picture will be right there uh, right in front of me and everything just works great and it's really awesome the way that this service works okay now like I said before if you have it set up the way I do it won't matter much, okay? Me, I actually use the three different services to my advantage, and I am starting to categorize. I'm still in the, I'm still working on um, organizing everything, but I have my Dropbox right here, my Google Drive right there, and my Microsoft uh, SkyDrive. So if I open up Dropbox, um, boom, there's my Dropbox, and I can open up uh, my Google Drive. There's my Google Drive stuff. Close the internet, and if I open up. SkyDrive, there we go, SkyDrive. So these are all of the folders right there just working and it's perfect, this works really great together. Um, I'll be using SkyDrive for like media files because I have the most space in it, I have 25 gigs. Uh, Dropbox, I have two gigs, so I'm gonna start using this more for like text editing and stuff. And then uh, Google Drive, I'll probably, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use Google Drive for yet, like probably video editing files and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing there guys. Very awesome, that is how I have it set up flawless just everything is right here and it's like it doesn't even get in the way it's it's like they're all kind of together and if I wanted I can even go to the extent of making a folder with all of these folders in that folder so it's all in one spot if you want to take it that far but very awesome all right so I said that all these had their uh, their mobile applications and stuff they all do except uh, Google Drive it was just released like yesterday as I'm making this video or actually it was released today uh, but you're gonna watch this video the next day anyways uh, the applications are not out yet, but if you're watching this video like like a month after um, this video is released, then you should have some Google Drive applications right there. I think it's already out for Android, but not for the iPhone, not for the iOS platform. So anyway, there you go. Uh, mobile apps will be all good to go soon. Now let me go ahead and show you a chart um, on Engadget.com. And this is an awesome chart to check out if you want some more information on any of these services uh, what they offer over each other um, basically this chart is like oh which one should I use me I just took the approach of dude I'm gonna use all of them and just <laughs> why not you know like <laughs> whatever it's totally free I can put them all right here on my desktop and it's all fine you know so I'm using all of them if you want to just use one of them here you go these are some stats of course if all this isn't enough space for you you can buy more packages you know 25 gigs for like like 250 on Google Drive per month 
Uh, so whatever. There you go. I'm going to have a link to this article, to this chart in the description. Go check it out, guys. I showed you how to get up to 48 gigs of free cloud storage, all syncable through mobile devices and on multiple computers. And uh, it, it all just works. I'm sorry. I've been talking for a long time. I'm going to take off now. Thank you for watching. Bye.